<laughs> hey guys, so I just want to talk to you about how we beat Brixton's reflux. <laughs> so Brixton had reflux and he was called here at the same time too. So it was really difficult um, during the beginning when he was born. Oh my God, he was just crying all the time. Even after he nursed, he was just crying and he was spitting up a lot. And I was just like, what is going on with this baby? And my husband was like, we need to make an appointment with the pediatrician. So we did. And thank God we did because the pediatrician was like, he has reflux and he has colic. And I'm just like, oh my God, what is this? Because we never experienced it with Aliana before. Like Aliana was a totally different baby. Mind you, she was difficult too in her own ways, but he was difficult because he was just crying and being fussy all the time. And I felt like we couldn't do anything at all. The only thing that would actually soothe him was for him to be on the breast. And that was just exhausting. He was just on me all the time just to like calm himself down. So the pediatrician um, diagnosed him with colic and also reflux and he told me these key things I need to do. So one was actually cut out dairy and I was eating dairy a lot. I love my cheese, I love my milk. Um, and a lot of things actually have dairy in it, which is like really surprising to me when you read the ingredients. So I cut out dairy, I cut out caffeine and I love my coffee you guys, but I totally um, I'm used to not having coffee anymore. It wasn't that big of a deal after I stopped. So that surprised me. Um, I also stopped some egg protein. Um, I wasn't eating eggs anymore, which I love my eggs in the morning. Um, and also I cut out some nuts. So there's certain types of nuts that I could actually trigger it too. So I'm just like, you know, I'm going to cut everything cold turkey. Um, and then let's try this out. He also put prescribed him on Zantac and he was getting two doses of Zantac a day. And, uh, um, and it was like minimal dosage too, which is which is fine with me. Um, I heard from other mothers that they also put their baby on Zantac and helped them out tremendously. Um, we also were advised to not keep him laying fully on his back, like after he after he eats, don't put him like on his back like that. He needs to be inclined. So I got this wedge pillow that I actually had during my pregnancy um, when I was sleeping to put my big belly on and I used it for him. So every time that I had to put him down or if he's in his dock tot I would put him on this wedge pillow and it was a perfect, perfect pillow to put him on um, so that the milk isn't going to be like coming up that, so that it's sitting. Um, in his tummy and hopefully it will stay down so it will, so therefore it would prevent him having the reflux and for the milk spitting out um, and then the Zantac actually helped calm down the acidity that was developing um, through my milk and his tummy so it's a lot of combination of like different things that we we're actually giving him we also gave him a little bit of like gas drops just to make sure that um, he wasn't super gassy too at the same time so he was pretty much getting like a cocktail of things <laughs> he was getting the gas drops his probiotics his Zantac um, but honestly you guys within like the first week maybe even the first couple days, we saw a huge difference. He was a different baby, a different baby. And now the reflux is pretty much all over. I don't think he has reflux anymore at all because anytime he spits up, sometimes it's a little bit more than normal. Um, it's still not getting him to be where he's fussy anymore. So he's a happy spitter and that's all that matters is that as long as he's a happy spitter, then that's totally fine. Um, but he doesn't have reflux anymore. And I believe it's all the combination of things that we actually did. He's also close to five months old and typically a reflux will also go away um, around six months old. Maybe he just like doesn't have any more because of that. But what what we believe is that cutting out um, all of those things and actually keeping him on an incline and giving him some Zantac at the beginning helped out tremendously and now he's just a happy baby. <laughs> and you're just getting heavy. Yes, you are. And you just love to bounce. Oh my God, you guys. So I hope this video is helping you out a lot. Um, if you have a baby and after they nurse or after they feed and they're having spit up and your baby's just over fussy after that, maybe your baby has reflux. Oh Jesus. <laughs> maybe your baby has reflux. So call your pediatrician, make an appointment um, and just see what they say. Or maybe your baby is just colicky. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, and for us, like another thing that I actually wanted to, to say is that he um he actually liked being on a swing um 
So we got this Fisher Price swing that helped them out also because it had like a little bit of incline too. Anytime um, after he ate, I would just put him on a swing and it would just calm him down and he would actually go to sleep. Now he doesn't use the swing. He will just sleep right in his crib. Um, but that's another thing that I just want to point out that helped him um, was him to be on this Fisher Price swing because it also has an incline. I know there's um, another one called the Rock and Play that parents also love that also has like a little bit of an incline too so that's another and <laughs> that's another product that you can look into but i hope this video helps out a lot you guys and you want to see five bricks in huh huh my happy baby and we will see you guys in the next video bye Mwah.